Hey monkeys, monkey Dan here. I recently received an email from monkey Tim. He's completed the first basically three and a half months of the tactical two training manual and he's about to begin the Masogi. He had a question about challenge number one, which is going to be a one minute hold above the monkey bars. And so I just want to go over a few tips and techniques on how to keep you guys over the bar for that full 60 seconds so that you can complete the rest of the Misogi. So real quick what the Misogi is. So after three months of kind of base training followed by an initiation week, you'll begin the Misogi, which consists of five different challenges, all that must be completed within the same 24 hour period. Not for the lighthearted monkeys and hopefully it expands your mind for what is possible. Okay, so tip number one. So when you're actually gonna begin the Masogi and go for that attempt, don't, since it is the first one, don't show up and just go for it right away. Make sure you're thoroughly warmed up. And this, this really goes for any working out you're doing, but especially for these super high intensity Masogi challenges. Really make sure you spend the time to get a full body comprehensive warm up, And then we can get a little bit more specific to the actual challenge. And so what I would do is just simply do a few short five, 10, maybe 15 second holds above the bars, just warming up that specific musculature, getting the blood flow, getting everything nice and ready to rock. Okay, so tip Number two, make sure when you're at the top of that hold, you wanna turn the bars in so your palms are essentially facing your chest. So I think some people might be doing it, which isn't wrong, in more of a neutral grip. But what I'm suggesting is rotating your palms into your chest and basically that locks off, locks off the movement at the top. So I'm basically using my body and skeletal system to support myself versus holding on for dear life. Not that that's a bad thing, but we want you to complete the challenge. So again, tip number two, turn those palms in at the top, pull the upper arm into the side of your rib, keep everything tight. Tip number three. So what we wanna do is maintain what's called a hollow body position. So I think a lot of people are going into it, even if you're doing the rotation, you might be doing this kind of broken backs, overextended, not good. What we want is to maintain a hollow position. So I'm smashing my feet together, pointing my toes, I'm maintaining tension throughout my entire body. And I think that's gonna help you keep tension in the arms, especially as you're holding that top position. Okay, tip number four. You wanna use the least amount of effort possible for as long as possible. So what I mean by that is when you start the beginning of the challenge, don't go as hard as you can and flex as hard as you can and squeeze as hard as you can for the first 10 seconds that you're gonna go over the cliff too soon. Think about quieting your mind, being calm, using the minimum amount of effort you can during that initial part and only incrementally adding what you need as the minute progresses. Tip number five. So I just said not grip the bars too hard, but there's a concept called irradiation. So tension from one muscle is gonna transfer to another. So when I'm holding the bars, if I grip them extra hard, especially during that last 10, maybe 20 seconds, start to grip the bars as hard as you can. You can see the finish line, that might help give you that extra boost you need across the finish line. So those are my five tips for when you're actually doing the Misogi. And then as far as training for the hold above the bars, there's plenty of that in the manual, but if you need to add a little bit more, especially as the challenge approaches, what I'd recommend is doing sets of 20 to 30 seconds with only a 10 second rest in between. And so what I mean by that is you would jump up, you would hold the top position for 30 seconds, hop down, shake out, rest for 10, 
you would immediately do that again for 30 seconds, rest for 10, 30 seconds, rest for 10. So I want you to do anywhere from three to six sets of that. So the idea is you're accumulating this volume above the bars with very little rest, should make it a lot easier for that Masogi challenge. Here's what it looks like. Our monkey minute is gonna be the one minute hold above the bars. Oh, and one thing I like to do is kind of take a second to calm down. So don't get too amped up. Try and actually deep belly breaths, trying to oxygenate the body, get ready to rock and roll here. All right, here we go. So the way I have these sit up, kind of get this little rotation going on so you can see everything that's happening. And so notice again, feet are smashed together. My toes are pointing. Palms are facing my chest. I'm trying to squeeze my upper arm and forearm into the side of my body. I'm also trying not to think about the time or even Imagine time exists. Just having a conversation with the monkeys, hanging out on my tactical bars. <sighs> okay, so now I'm starting to burn, you know, really death grip the bars. I've got a few seconds. <sighs> oh, for good measure. Oh, baby. <sighs> Actually tried to shoot this yesterday, but wasn't really happy with it. So here I am as the sun sets, getting challenge number one of the Monkey Masogi done. So hopefully this helps you guys. If you have questions, if you need tips or any other monkey technique, please shoot me an email. Love helping you guys out. <sighs> monkey on.